I'm reasonably content with these. They are very useful. It's not um, exactly what I thought they would be, and I'll explain. In the picture, a little hard to tell some details, but it does come well equipped. Let me show you what I'm talking about. From the picture, you can't tell. Optically speaking, when you're trying to... I, I thought I could put these on and look through them, and they would convex somewhere, I could adjust them, and I could focus in on something and magnify it. It doesn't work, because when you focus in towards something, these have to move that way. They don't. They're fixed. So both are looking straight ahead. They never intersect. But they do swivel upwards, which is fine. Um, but since they are never going to intersect, I've decided to make, I set one up at a 10x and one at a 25x. Now, each has an adjustable little light. And you adjust it to wherever your focus point is. And basically what these are, uh, kind of resembles in its utility, resembles a, uh, a jeweler's loop. And because you've got to have it right up to your eye and you've got to be pretty close to focus in. Let me, let me do this, see if we can get a video of that. This focuses in at about inch and a half away, and it might work better without this light. We might pick it up on my camera. Now it's too dark. But that works actually. If, I don't know if it'll, if it'll come out in video, but that works very well at about one inch, one and a quarter inch away, and that's a 10x. Now, if I want to zoom in on something with the 25x, I really have to be right up close. You adjust your light right up here because in this case you got to be so close to it. If you plan on using these for soldering small electrical connections it's never going to work because you'll have one up, you'll have one looking at your object and you'll have to be an inch and a half or so away from it. Then you've got to get your soldering iron in there between your nose and there's not enough room to actually solder I wouldn't think. But as far as checking out the details, like a jeweler's loop or something, like I said, that's kind of where the utility comes in. And I'll still make good use of them. But they're not as practical, and the minimum is 10x, and that's a lot. That's actually quite a bit. Uh, you look at the... You look at your skin, and you look like an alligator, you know. Uh, you got to check that out when you first get them. You go, my God, I look like an alligator up close at 10x. Never mind 25x probably find life colonies. Anyway, thank you. I hope that explains these. They do have their usefulness and um, they come with a 20x on them when you get them out of the box. So it's actually got four sets of lenses. Uh, it would be 10 in the box. Okay, you can have a 10, a 20, and a 15. The 25x come on your unit when you get it. So that's what this one is. Its counterpart is right there. But like I said, I got a 10 here and a 25 there. Since you can't use them both at the same time, I might as well utilize the versatility of being able to use either one I choose to to zoom in on something. Still reasonably cool. And they come with this head strap if you'd rather use that. Uh, than the eyeglass, and the, but these are actually very comfortable. And they're not super heavy, so if you want to, and then that would remove right inside there. You'd pull these out, and you'd pop that in. See how that goes, and thank you very much.